The worst thing about privacy is thinking you've done something when in reality you didn't actively choose anything yourself. If you think that leaving private DNS automatic means you've taken care of privacy, then unfortunately you're only protected on paper. This setting is called private, but it doesn't always work privately. Now I'll explain why and how you can fix it yourself. Let's start with the basics. Any website you open, any app that needs internet, first goes through something called DNS. DNS knows where you're going and routes your request to the website Android, gives you an option called Private DNS, and most people leave it on automatic. And that's where the problem is. Automatic means the system decides, based on the network, based on the connection, based on conditions you don't control, which means it might use encryption or not, or fall back to the regular network DNS. So the result is you think you're using private DNS, but in reality, there's no constant guarantee your requests are always encrypted. The name gives a sense of safety, but the setting itself isn't a conscious choice from you. Now, the important part, the settings steps. Go to settings. Then network and internet or connections, depending on your phone. From more connection settings, choose private DNS. You'll find three options. First option, off. If you don't understand the feature, or you don't want to use it, or you're troubleshooting a connection issue, then turning it off is better than leaving it on automatic while thinking you're protected. Second option, automatic. This is what we've been talking about. It's the default and it's not guaranteed. Third option, private DNS provider hostname. This is the best choice if you want real control. Select it and enter a trusted provider name. First option, most common and easiest, dns.google. It is run by Google Encrypted Stable and works well on all Android networks. Second option, 1.1.1.1.1. It is run by Cloudflare, known for speed and widely used. Choosing a provider does not mean you disappear from the internet or that you become anonymous, but it does. Block unencrypted regular DNS, give you a cleaner connection, and make you aware of what you're actually using instead of automatic. If after entering the host name, your internet disconnects or websites stop loading, just go back and either change the provider or turn it off temporarily. This is normal and varies by network. Be honest in the comments. Which setting did you discover too late wasn't protecting you the way you thought? If this was new information for you, hit like so others don't stay fooled by a setting name. And if you want to understand Android settings that look safe but aren't really, subscribe to the channel.